Hey everybody. So today I'm going to talk about logging in. A lot of people are having trouble with this. I want to make it easy as possible. So go to Soundtrap. You can Google it. You can just type soundtrap.com. I recommend that. And when you come here, you're going to be in Soundtrap. This website is not the website you want. This is normal Soundtrap. We are special. We have an education Soundtrap. So click education and it'll look a little different. Sometimes there won't be a login button here. There'll just be three lines. Click the three lines and the login button will show up later. Now, when you log in, you gotta log in with your email. There's a whole bunch of emails you can use. And now a lot of people will be like, okay, well, here's my email. It's, and my first name is dummy. And my last name is, is a student. And, uh, and then there's my number, right? And it'll look like this, right? That's not an email, okay? Emails don't have spaces. If you have a space, there's that's not an email. It'll be like an underscore, all right? And then they don't have, um, well, sorry, no, emails do have that. They have an at symbol. It's an A with a circle. You go shift to, and that's how you type that. And then usually it'll be a school. Like for us, it's Santa Rosa City Schools dot org, not dot com dot org. So it's super important that you type exactly this, okay? And I, I say that because the first time you log in, you're going to try to log in with Google. It's not going to work or it will try it. But if it doesn't work, you got to just do it manually like this. So type all of it in, type all this stuff and then type your password. Um, I give everybody the same password um, for our schools. So you got to talk to your teacher if you don't know your password. All right. I'm not going to tell you our secret password because it's a secret. All right. Then you click uh, log in. And it logs you in. Now, the first time you log in, you're going to get this screen. Hey, you're in Soundtrap. Great job. Change your password. So then you have to type a new password. My password is going to be different. Um, great. And then you type in a new password. Great. So there it is. Make sure they're the same. Make sure it's something you remember. Don't tell anyone it's a secret. That's important. All right. And you can continue. And it logs you in. And then you're in Soundtrap. Look at that. Easy as pie. All right. Now, when you're in Soundtrap, um, it should say that you're a, a student and you're in Santa Rosa City Schools. All right. That should all be in there. Um, and you're going to enter the studio. You can play around. You can do stuff. There's there's a group that you're in, right? This is our group uh, for music for all us fifth and sixth graders. Maybe you're in a group for guitar or flute or a different instrument. That's cool. That's a group your teacher sets up. All right. And then if you click here, there's a bunch of cool videos you can click that show you how to do stuff. Check out the videos. Your teachers might also have some videos to send you about how to do stuff like this video. Use them. Check them out. Uh, only other thing is uh, you're going to um, turn in projects. Now, the projects you make, you can make them here. But actually, the best place to start and do projects is on uh, Google Classroom. All right, so let's switch to my Google Classroom. I'm going to show you all what to do. All right, so you're in Soundtrap, and here's uh, your um, link. When you open up your Google Classroom, it's going to be like, here's all your projects, right? Um, there's the first one. So you got to click the link. All right, when you click the link in Google Classroom, it'll open up Soundtrap automatically. After you've logged in, it'll do that. You have to do that. You can't just make it in Soundtrap and then send it to your teacher. You got to do this in Google Classroom because Google Classroom is how your teacher is going to start and look at all your projects. It's linked to Soundtrap automatically. All right. Maybe they use Seesaw. Maybe they use something else. But you got to click that link. All right. And it's going to open up a brand new thing. Check it out. Cool. Here's my project. Awesome. It opens me up. And now I can do stuff with it. All right. Project one loops and I can put my name on there. Right. And then I'm going to have some stuff I can add to it, right? I'm going to get rid of this. Let's get rid of this track. And then, um, then you save it, right? Save it with your name on it. Um, I'm going to change this to start because that's what I want it to be. And then when you save that, it's going to save your project for you. It's, that project is already saved. It's already done. You're already set up, right? It's golden. 